Mathies, it's Miss Benito here. Um, I want to introduce to you some math games that we would be doing if we were in the classroom together. But since we're not yet, you can play these math games at home. All right, so first, I have a bag of dice. Okay. And you can also purchase these kinds of dice at the dollar store. Okay, like regular die. They come in a little package, and there's probably like about 10 to 12 dice. Um, look for look in the dollar store for those. Sometimes the dollar store has these big foam dice. Or you can purchase a deck of cards to play as well. Okay, so this week we were doing adding and subtracting three digit numbers. So the adding is easy because you can switch your add-ins and you're still gonna get the same number. So what you could do, let me get, hold on. Okay. What you can do is roll your dice. Okay, I've got a two, a three, and a one. 231, I write it down, plus, <laughs> Okay, and it's 243. Okay, and then I can add that problem. Okay, I start with the ones. Three plus one is four. Four plus three is seven. Two plus two is four. Okay, so you get that. Okay, so you can use the dice. Now, if you subtract, what number has to come first? The greater number. So, roll your dice. Okay. And on my side, I've got 311. 311. Okay. And then I have 523. Well, 523 is a greater number than 311. So, I'm going to put 500. 23 on top and then I'm going to subtract okay remember addition you could um sorry guys addition you can put those numbers in any order it won't matter but for subtraction greater number on top okay and then subtract three minus one is two two take away one is one and five take away three is two So the difference is 212. All right. You can use the small dice too. Like I said, Miss Benito sometimes rolls them on a paper plate so they don't whoop, fall off of your table. Okay, you can get a paper plate and roll on that. Okay. The next one you can do is get a deck of cards. Again, at the dollar store. Sometimes they have two packs for a dollar. And you can make the face card any number you want, or it could be a zero, all right? So lay out your three cards. So I've got, uh, aces are ones, okay? So I've got a zero, a one, and a four. And again, I'm adding, so let's do this. I'm gonna use the marker now to show adding. So I've got, Zero, one, four, plus, hmm, let's see, plus one, six, two. Okay, remember, aces are ones, face cards are zero. What did I say that was? One, six, two. Okay, and here is my math problem, and then you could just add, okay? Four plus two is six, six plus one is seven, one plus zero is one. My answer is 176. All right, let's do a subtraction, greater number on top. Use your cards. So I've got, let's see, I don't need a 10 because that's a two-digit number, right? Can't do that. So we do nine, seven, five, okay, 
975. That seems like a pretty large number. That'll probably be my first number when subtracting. Then I have 351. 351, okay? So here's my math problem. 975, take away 351, and then I just subtract, starting at the ones. Five minus one is four, seven minus five is two, and nine minus three is six. So my answer is 624. Remember, greater number on top. And here, greater number on top when subtracting. All right, boys and girls, go ahead and hit that dollar store and get some cards, get some dominoes. I don't have the dominoes right now, but I'll show them to you. You can use dominoes too. Get your dice, get your big papa dice. Get your two for a dollar deck of cards. All right, off you go. Enjoy some math games.